If you're wondering how to build your online store using Shopify but you don't know how to start, then this Shopify tutorial for beginners is gonna walk you through all the necessary steps to build your Shopify store from complete scratch. So first we have to sign up for Shopify. So if you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, I'll leave the best current deal linked in the description of this video. With that deal, you can get a 3-day free trial plus one month of Shopify for just $1. So make sure to use that link to save some money. On this page, just type your email address and click start free trial. Now here you simply click skip all and then follow the prompts until you get to your Shopify dashboard. Now to activate the $1 deal, you'll need to select a plan. So click select a plan. If you're planning to manage a store by yourself, simply choose the basic plan. Now, if you're planning to run your store with someone else, then I would recommend choosing the Shopify plan, which is suitable for small teams. For this tutorial, I'll simply choose the basic plan to get started. Here, I'll choose to go with a yearly billing cycle after the one month of my trial period. So that way, I will be able to save up to $120 per year. So I'll check mark this box. As you can see for now, our pricing is set to $1 for the first month. So let's click subscribe. Here, I recommend you to add your correct store details and click save address. For now, I'll click add later. Okay, now that I've successfully subscribed to a Shopify plan, let's set up our Shopify store settings. So click settings on the bottom left. First, go to store details and click edit. Here, type your store name, your store's phone, and click Save. Now, let's set up our payment processors to allow customers to actually check out and complete a payment. So, go to so go. Here, click on Complete Account Setup to activate Shopify payments and fill out the details to complete this process. This will enable customers on our stores to choose between different payment methods like credit cards, Apple Pay, Shop Pay, and more. If Shopify payment is not available in your country, you still have the option to accept payments using PayPal. So click here, then go to Complete Account Setup. Now let's go to Shipping and Delivery. Here we can set up different shipping rates based on the regions we're shipping our products to. If you have imported products from a third-party supplier, then there might already be shipping rates and shipping methods set up for those imported products. Another thing we definitely want to put on our Shopify store are legal page policies. Now creating these pages with Shopify is very easy. All you have to do is to go to policies on the side menu. Now scroll down and create your policies from Shopify templates by clicking on create from template. Next, make sure to read through these policies and adjust those to your needs. Here I'll add the privacy policy, terms of service, and the contact information. Now to create a shipping policy, simply click on this link in the description of this video and then you'll be taken to this page to download the official shipping policy from Shopify. Once done, open up the email sent by Shopify and then upload it to your store. And yeah, don't forget to save changes. Now let's set up our custom domain which will be the URL of your Shopify store. So let's go to domains. As you can see currently this is our domain address and it looks very unprofessional. Now if you don't have a domain, simply click on buy new domain. Then here search the domain name you want. Once done, click Buy Domain and it will automatically be associated with your Shopify store. Okay, now let's move on to the next step, which is creating product collections to keep our Shopify store organized. So on the main Shopify dashboard, click on Products on the site menu. Now click Collections, then go to Create Collection. Here type the name of your collection. Then on collection type, make sure it's set to manual because we're going to be adding our products to this collection manually later. Next, let's add our product image collection by clicking on add image. Once done, click save. To add more product collections, click the return icon and click create collection. As you can see, I've created the t-shirt and the jackets collection. Now I'm going to show you how to add products to your Shopify store. 
So go to add products. If you're dropshipping products from AliExpress or Printify, you can simply import those products from those platforms directly to your Shopify store. So to import dropshipping or print-on-demand products, you'll find the complete guides in the description of this video. Now, if you're selling your own products, just click add product. On title, type the name of your product. Next, use the description to explain your customers about your product. You can also use the new AI product description generator from Shopify to get some inspiration and generate your text in seconds. Next, go to upload images and here add your images. Next, go to collections and choose the collection where your product belongs. Next, let's set our product pricing. Here, type your product price. And if you want to, you can add a compare it price. A compare it price gives customers the impression of saving money. So I definitely recommend using it. If you keep this option turned on, you'll be able to charge taxes on your products at checkout. Next, you can type your cost per item to calculate your profit margins. Next, go to inventory and select the available quantity. You can also check this option to keep selling when you're out of stock. Next, check mark this option to create SKU for your products. For those who don't know, SKU is a code that identifies your product in store's inventory. For example, here you can type 001 or any number you want for your first product. Next, go to shipping and add your product weight. If you have product variants, you can use this section to add them. Once done, click save. Here, make sure to set your product status to active because if it's on draft, it will remain unpublished on your Shopify store. Now let's edit the navigation menus of our Shopify store. Navigation menus allow visitors to find and access different sections and pages of your website. So to customize, go to online store and click navigation. First, let's customize the main menu. Here, go to add menu item, search collections, and here select all collections. After that, click add, and then let's delete the catalog item. Now I'm gonna show you how to create submenus for our main menu. So go to add menu item. Now go to search and select the home page. Now go to label name and type the name of the submenu you want to create. Once done, go to add menu item again. Now here you can select any collection you want, but in this case, I'll select the women's product and click add. Now let's drag and drop this menu item into the subfolder we've just created. If you want, you can also rearrange the menu items. Once done, click save. Now click the return icon and go to footer menu. Here I'll be adding some legal page policies. Go to search, click policies. Now select the first page policy and click add. Once you've done, simply repeat the same process until you've selected all legal page policies. After that, click save. All right, now let's move on to the next step, which is customizing our Shopify store. So let's start by choosing a Shopify theme. So under the sales channel, go to online store and click themes. Currently, we're using the default Shopify theme called Dawn. But when you scroll down, you'll find more free popular Shopify themes. Now, if you click on visit theme store, you will be able to choose between either free or paid themes to add to your Shopify store. But for this tutorial, we'll stick with a Dawn theme. So let's return to our main Shopify dashboard and click customize. Let's start by customizing the announcement bar. So on the left side menu, click announcement bar. You can use the announcement bar to display important messages or even coupon codes at the top of your online store. 
Now on these settings, check mark this option to add social media icons on the announcement bar. As of now, nothing happened yet, but later I'm going to show you how to display those social icons. Now click the return icon, click welcome to our store and change the text by typing anything you want. Next, let's upload our logo. So click on your website name on the header and on the left side menu, click theme settings. Go to select image, add images, select your logo and click open. Now click done and then use this slider to change your logo size. Now click the background of your image banner. Go to add images, select your banner image and click open, then click done. Next, go to image overlay opacity and decrease the opacity to about 20%. Now go to desktop content position and change the text position if needed. For now, I'll set it to bottom left. Next, click the text and on the left sidebar, change the text. Now let's scroll down to select the next section and on the bottom left, click remove section. Now go to add section and select collection list. Now click the first collection and on the left side menu, go to select collection. Now pick any collection you want, then click select. Now repeat the same process until you've added all product collections. Once done, click the return icon. Now I'm going to show you how to create any about us section. So go to add section on the left side menu and select the image with text section. Now on the left side menu, go to select image, add images, pick the image you want to display and click done. Here I'll change the image size to small. Now let's click the heading and then here type about us or anything you want. Next, select the text and type anything you want. Next, click the button and then here change the label to contact. Now on button link, go to pages and select the contact page. If you want, you can check mark this option to outline the button. Now I'm going to show you how to display our legal pages on the footer of our Shopify store. First, click the return icon to open the main menu settings. Then click on footer right at the bottom. Next, scroll down and check mark show policy links. Once done, click save. Now let's upload our logo on the checkout page. Now to change the default logo, go to add images on the site menu. Here, select your logo and click done. Next, let's scroll down to colors. Here, I'll only change the accent colors and the button's color. Once done, click save. Now go to theme settings, social media, and here paste your social media handles. After that, your social media channels will be displayed on the announcement bar and the footer of your Shopify store. Now let's move on to the next step, which is improving our Shopify store SEO to increase its visibility on Google search results. So let's return to our main Shopify dashboard. Under the sales channel, simply click on preferences. Here type the name of your store and on meta description you can type the main goal of your online store for instance. Then click save. Now let's deactivate a password protection from our Shopify store. Scroll down to password protection and here first click add your store's address. On this pop-up simply check mark this box then click save. Now go to password protection and untick this box. Once done, click save. Now click view store and there you go.